We are excited to be out on Greenpeace's Esperanza in the Sargasso Sea and to really be in uncharted waters, especially in terms of the field of sea turtle research. When you protect sea turtles, you protect a number of other habitats and species. They're what's known as kind of an umbrella species. These sargassum mats are really important developmental habitat for multiple species of turtles. We know they're out here feeding, eating little food items. There's this hypothesis that the mats also provide a thermal advantage to the turtles, and we're collecting data to see if this is the case. When we do encounter a sargassum mat, we then use the extendable rig to measure temperature. We think as mats get larger, it theoretically would get warmer. One of the broader impacts of our work is in light of climate change, the middle of these mats may in fact become too warm for some of the developing organisms that are inside of them. So even if they don't exceed maximum temperatures for developing turtles, they might exceed maximum temperatures for some of the food items that are important for those turtles. My favorite part is being able to just ask questions. Ask questions and set out and experience these ecosystems. For me, sea turtles have always been part of my life and they've always taken me to wonderful places and taught me new things and connected me with people all around the world. Being on the Greenpeace ship is truly, it's been a once in a lifetime experience. We were out here prepared to be like a two-woman team getting our project done and as we've come out here we have met a lot of wonderful people all united by the same goal to learn more about these systems and we hope to protect this important habitat not just for turtles but for all the other life that depend on the Sargasso Sea.